I'm William, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how you can replace a lost key pair for your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance when using EC2 config or EC2 launch to reset the administrator password. Let's get started. As a prerequisite to solve this issue, we'll create a new key pair. To do this, let's navigate to the EC2 console. In the navigation pane, under Network and Security, choose Key Pairs. Choose Create Key Pair. When here, let's choose a name. A key can include up to 255 ASCII characters. It can't include leading or trailing spaces. To give the new key pair the same name as the lost key pair, you must first delete the lost key pair. For key pair type, choose RSA. Note that ED25519 keys are not supported for Windows instances. For private key format, choose the format you want to save the private key in. To save the private key in a format that can be used with OpenSSH, choose PM. To save the private key in a format that can be used with PuTTY, choose PPK. For this demo, I'll save the key as a PEM. To add a tag to the public key, choose Add Tag. Then enter the key and value for the tag. Choose Create Key Pair. The private key is automatically downloaded by your browser. The base file name is the name that you specified as the name of your key pair. The file name extension is determined by the file format that you chose. Save the private key file in a safe place. Now that we've created a new key, let's restore access to our EC2 instance. From the Amazon EC2 console, choose Instances from the Navigation pane. Select your instance. From the Details tab, I'll note the instance type, VPC ID, Subnet ID, Security Groups, and AWS Identity and Access Management role for the instance so that we can reproduce this environment later. We'll then stop our instance. Note that if this instance has an instant store volume, any data on it is lost when the instance is stopped. If the instance shutdown behavior is set to terminate, the instance terminates when it is stopped. Next, select your stopped instance. From the Actions menu, choose Image and Templates, and then choose Create Image. For image name, enter a name. If we want, we can also add a description to the image. Choose Create Image. We might need to wait a few minutes for the AMI to be created. Choose AMIs from the navigation pane. If the status is pending, the AMI is still being created. When the status is available, continue to the next step. Now that we have created an AMI of our instance, let's go ahead and launch an instance from this AMI by selecting the AMI and then choosing Launch Instance from AMI. Let's proceed through the new launch wizard, making sure to select the same instance type, VPC ID, subnet ID, security groups, and IAM role as the instance that we're replacing. For select key pair, Let's choose the new key pair. If the original instance has an associated Elastic IP address, reassociate the Elastic IP address to the new instance. If any Amazon Elastic Block Store volumes aren't captured during the AMI creation, detach the volume and then attach the volume to the new instance after creation. Now that the private key file is replaced, we can reset the administrator password. Use EC2 config for Windows Server 2012 R2 and earlier. Use EC2 launch for Windows Server 2016 and later. First, let's detach the root volume from the instance. Now let's select the instance that needs the password to be reset and make sure that the instance is stopped. Then let's select the storage tab of the instance and note the ID of the EBS marked as the root device. In the navigation pane, choose Volumes. Let's search for the volume previously noted and choose Actions Detach Volume. 
Next, we'll launch a temporary instance as follows. In the navigation pane, choose Instances, choose Launch Instances, and then select an AMI. Note that you must choose a different version of Windows to avoid disk signature collisions. Leave the default instance as is. Go to the Network Settings tab and then choose Edit. For the VPC and subnet, select the same VPC, subnet and availability zone as the original instance. For key pair, create a new key pair or feel free to use an existing key pair. Now click Launch Instance. Now let's attach the previously detached volume to this instance for troubleshooting. In the navigation pane, choose Volumes. Select the volume that we detached from the original instance and then choose Actions Attach Volume. In the Attach Volume box for instances, we can start entering the name or ID of our temporary instance and then select the instance from the list. Be sure the device name is in the format XVD, followed by a letter between F and P. This letter may vary depending on the number of attached volumes. In this case, XVDF is sufficient for this instance. When the instance is selected, choose Attach Volume. Now, all that's left is to reset the administrator password. First, let's connect to the temporary instance via RDP and use the ECT Rescue for Windows Server tool on the instance to reset the administrator password. When we're connected, we'll download the ECT Rescue tool and extract the contents from the folder before running ectrescue.exe. On the License Agreement screen, read the License Agreement and if you accept the terms, choose I agree. On the Welcome to EC2 Rescue for Windows Server screen, choose Next. On the Select Mode screen, choose Offline Instance. On the Select a Disk screen, select the XVDF device, which is the EBS from the impaired instance, and choose Next. Next, confirm the disk selection and choose Yes. After the volume is loaded, choose OK. On the Select Offline Instance option screen, choose Diagnose and Rescue. On the Summary screen, review the information and then click Next. On the Detected Possible Issue screen, select Reset Administrator Password and choose Next. Confirm your choice and click Rescue. Click OK. On the Results screen, choose Next. On the Done screen, Choose Finish and then the OK prompt. The password will be reset on the next restart of the original instance, so we can close the ECT Rescue for Windows Server tool, disconnect from the temporary instance, and then return to the Amazon EC2 console. Next, let's touch the secondary XVDF volume from the temporary instance as follows. In the navigation pane, choose Instances and then select the temporary instance. On the Storage tab for the temporary instance, note the ID of the EBS volume listed as XVDF. We should have noted this volume earlier. In the Navigation pane, choose Volumes. In the list of volumes, select the volume noted in the previous step and choose Actions Detach Volume. After the volume status changes to Available, continue with the next step. All that is needed now is to reattach the volume to the previous instance and then restart the instance. Select the volume that you detach from the temporary instance and then choose Actions Attach Volume. In the Attach Volume dialog box, for instances, start entering the name or ID of your original instance and then select the instance. For device, enter slash dev slash sda1. Choose Attach Volume. 
After the volume status changes to in use, we can move on to the next step. In the navigation pane, choose instances. Select the instance you attach the volume to and choose instance state start instance. After the instance state changes to running, we can retrieve our administrator password using the private key for the new key pair and connect to the instance. So now you know how to replace a lost key pair for your EC2 instance when using EC2 config or EC2 launch to reset the administrator password. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Yeah.